Yo, what's up everybody, Boca Boy here and welcome to the channel. Today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock and keep all of the beer hats on your male character. I did say in yesterday's video that I would put together this because it is slightly different items that you'll need to buy in order to unlock them. Um, a few people have been asking me now where the video is, so here we go. Um, before we actually get started in the glitch, big thanks to all the founders of the glitches we will be using here. Um, the free, buy everything free, sorry, method is by World's Finest Gamer and Super420. The gender transfer glitch is by FNG Glitcher and the beer hat method is by Daddy Cool NL, Handage Harry and Thanofi. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> anyway guys. Big shout out to all them, their details are linked in the description below. Now, just like yesterday's glitch for the female, unfortunately you guys on the Xbox while doing it, you will lose all of your outfits. Thankfully for you guys on PS4, all of your saved outfits will be absolutely safe when doing it. So we are going to be using the World Finest Gamer and Super 420's Everything Free glitch and that is going to help keep all of our outfits safe, that is only for PS4 guys. So the Xbox users, you don't have to do any of this just yet, um, I will let you know when the parts that you need to do to get the beer hats on your male character starts. So. All we need to do now guys, for you users on the PS4, we're going to start the everything free glitch. So for that guys, remember we need a second console, ideally a second PS4, or a 100% trusted friend, because they will need your uh, PSN details, your email and password to sign into your account. So if you don't trust them, you don't know them, don't do the glitch with them. Um, ideally, as I say, having two consoles and two copies of GTA, you're absolutely laughing, ready to go. So, getting started now guys with the everything free glitch. What you'll need to do is have your second PS4 or your very, very trusted friend log into your account now. If you are using a friend guys to help you with this, then you will need them to stay in communication with you so that you can know when the next part of the glitch is good to go. So have your friend or the second PS4 load GTA and load an online session. Once in the session, open the interaction menu, go to style, then choose change appearance. Now to get these beer hats, it is going to cost us $100,000, but that is nothing for items like this caliber in GTA Online. Six hats for 100k, amazing offer. <laughs> you couldn't get that down at Ponds and Bees. So, what happens now is you will spawn, or your friend or second PS4 will spawn in the mugshot room of the police station. Just simply ask them to chill here and wait for you to continue with the glitch. You are going to load up GTA Online on your first PS4 and this guys is actually when the Xbox glitch starts as well. So at this point for the friends that are helping you on PS4 or the second PS4, they're just going to get an alert saying that the account has logged back into another console. That's cool. So once you have loaded up into a GTA Online session, just do the same again, open the interaction menu, go to style and then choose change appearance. Do not worry guys, this isn't going to cost you an extra 100,000, it's only going to cost you 100,000 at the end of the glitch. Now this part guys is the gender transfer glitch, so as I say, you guys on Xbox and you guys on PS4 can both do this, this will save the hats for you. Bear in mind guys on Xbox that you will lose your saved outfits though. What you need to do for that is go to the apparel section once you are in the mugshot room and then go to crew t-shirt style. On PS4 we're going to press circle and immediately after press down in the d-pad almost a fraction of a second after. Um, on Xbox that's going to be B and down in the D-pad and again guys it's a fraction of a second later you're pressing it down in the D-pad almost at the same time. If done correctly then you should see that you are hovering over the apparel section again. You'll notice that it says select the gender of your character here underneath the menu. 
That means you've done it correct. All you need to do is press right or left on the D-pad and you'll notice the sex of your character changes. Once that happens guys, just go down to save and continue and press X or A. Once you've done that, you'll be asked to take the screenshot, just accept that guys and you will load yourself into an online session. Now, once you're in the online session guys, this is just similar to the female version. We're going to go and we're going to purchase some items that is actually going to unlock us the beer hats on the male character, which we started the glitch with. So, make your way down to the mask shop that is down at the beach and we're just going to purchase ourselves some masks just like we did with the female version that is by the way linked in the description below as well so we're going to buy some masks this time as opposed to shoes head down to the shop press right d-pad when you get to the mask shop to open up the menu once you've done that just go to the characters masks and we're going to purchase some of these once we purchase these masks guys, they are actually going to unlock the hats and we'll be able to keep them for good. Hell yeah! So the mask we're going to purchase to unlock the hats are number 19, the black plastic face. Make sure you purchase that. And if you have any of these purchased already, that means you already have that hat unlocked. So purchase the black plastic face the clown plastic face which is number 20, number 21 the pink plastic face and number 22 the dawn plastic face and number 23 the green plastic face. So purchase the black, clown, pink, dawn and green plastic face masks. Once you have bought all of them, back out to the menu again and head to paper bags. This is going to unlock the final um, beer hat. So go down to number 20 on the list, which is the Burger Shop paper bag, and purchase that one. Once you've done all that, guys, simply back out of the Mask Shop menu, and all we're going to do is force a save. So to do that, all we need to do is bring up the interaction menu, go to Style, then go to your Accessories, and just add a pair of glasses, a hat, something like that to your character. What we're looking for is the orange saving circle in the bottom right hand side of the screen just like this and once we've got that we're good to continue. From here we just bring up the online tab and then go to creator. All we're doing here guys is just making sure that we've actually saved them and we are going to make sure we get the chance to change character sex back. So while we get to the creator, just launch up our online session as soon as you get there. You will see the alert while you're loading into the online session saying do you want to alter the character's appearance. Click yes on that and it will take you back to the mugshot section. Again we're going to perform the gender transfer glitch, so down to apparel and select that. Go down to crew t-shirts style and on PS4 it is circle followed by down in the d-pad a fraction of a second later. On Xbox that is B and down in the d-pad a fraction of a second later. Almost at the exact same time guys. If done correctly then you should see that you are highlighting over the apparel now and it is saying select the gender of your character underneath the menu just like so. Once you have that guys, press right or left in the d-pad to return to the actual gender that your character was before starting the glitch. Once you have your male character back, go down to save and continue. Press X or A on Xbox to save the character. Bear in mind it may not look exactly like your character was prior to this at this point. You guys in PS4, you will be okay because we've still to continue this with a few more steps. So just select all of that guys and launch into another GTA Online session. Hell yeah! So that is basically it for you guys on Xbox. Once you, you'll see here that um, in the clothing store now, I have no saved outfits, so for you guys on Xbox, unfortunately, this will be it for you. But we do have the 
hats, if we go over to the hat section, we can check under the special hats and we'll see all of the beer hats are unlocked. Hell yeah! Brilliant glitch man, absolutely love it. So again, you guys in Xbox, your glitch is done for now. You guys in PS4, we are about to continue to bring our outfits back. So head on outside guys on PS4, bring, out, bring up your interaction menu, add some glasses or a hat again and force a save. We're looking for the orange save circle again on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Once you have that guys on PS4, just close the application. Now we're going to get the second PS4 or our trusted friend to log back into the account and launch GTA. They'll notice that you are still in the mugshot room. All they need to do now is go down to save and continue. Now from here guys, you have already closed the application on your first PS4, um, so that's basically all saving it. We're bringing back the outfits now. So click save and continue and your character will lo load into a GTA online session. Once you've loaded into the online session, there is just a couple of more things to be done. Open up the interaction menu and force a save. I would suggest maybe buying some ammo as well before you actually force a save, just to make a couple of things forcibly stick the actual outfits and the hats. So, force a save, get the orange circle in the bottom right hand corner of the screen as you can see here in the video. Once the orange save circle has been and gone, that means everything has saved. Your friend or the second PS4, their job is done for now. All you need to do is jump back onto your own account on your first PlayStation and load up Grand Theft Auto. Um, remember we closed the actual whole game the last time, that was just to actually make save everything was saving. Um, so load up GTA and you'll get the character alert to change the appearance. At this point we can decline that and just hop into the online session. So once you get into the online session you'll see that your character has in fact still got the outfit that you had on starting the glitch with and you'll see all my outfits are safe. I have 19 in this uh, account so don't get scared thinking one is gone. You'll see also that we have all of the beer hats and now saved. Hell yeah! So, honestly guys, I've done this about six or seven times over the past two days and it's been amazing. Every outfit has been safe. Hell yeah! So, big shout out to all the founders. That is it for the video guys and I will see you in the next one. Boca Boy out. Peace.